Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're playing again. I think this is David Smearden. I feel like okay with that pairing. We both have three out of four. He's a good player, but I feel like he's uh, somebody I've beaten before in Blitz, so I feel okay. Okay with my chances here. How do I have this game every single round? Every time black, it's the same opening. B5. I, I don't know. Is this like new thing that everyone's playing? All the cool kids. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be going 97 and allowing bishop g5, but I do. What's this? This looks good now. Hacking a lot of pawns. Queen b2. I lose my queen probably, right? So, so I can't go f5, which is annoying. Do this. I can't spend all my time worrying about this crap. E2, do I have to go back in any way? No. I don't know, can you trap my rook in some weird way with like knight c3, rook c8, bishop d2? Probably it's too risky. All right, so he's going to go for some attack. I think I'm going to go h5 because I'm terrified. Holy Christ, really? I'm a little bit scared now. But I think queen d8 is annoying. I'm attacking his pawn and his knight. He can't defend them both, so he loses a... Oh, oh, I thought he had to lose a pawn, but I forgot that was possible. <laughs> uh, I could sack the exchange. It's not horrible. I gotta do something. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. He's got some weaknesses, so I figure that'll be some compensation. And I was getting low on time. I had to make a move. <clears throat> King g8, rook h8 is interesting, but queen e5 is irritating. Kind of like... I like this move. Queen g5, I'm gonna go queen uh, f3. My plan is king g8, rook h8, rook, whatever I'm saying. Queen h, rook h8, rook h5 in some positions. He'll probably go queen g5, but then I do go. I'm gonna do this. Oh crap. Well, it's not so bad actually. Pretty good. The end game's just good for me. My humble opinion. Um, problem is the clock. You don't want him going B4, but I don't think that made much sense. I'm just gonna take it, man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back. How does he defend the deep one, right? King g3 doesn't help. Alright, so I'm better, but I'm down on time. It's gonna not be easy to win. Not easy at all. I'll make a check, just hope he blunders something. I'm not sure how he blunders it. But... The rook looks good here. Defend, uh... What the fuck was that? That was a horrible move. Alright. I'm not sure how to, how to, how to do this. Get my pawn to g4 to start. Oh, that was stupid. I, you can trade rooks, it should be easy, easy to draw. Well, probably. Go for me a draw. Keep playing, but. Not. It's not going to be easy. I know what I'm doing here. Back. There's no way to win this position. I don't know how to make a draw. 
Uh, I figured it out. Um, I was down to 30 seconds. I didn't know what to do. I was definitely better in this game. Um, I think the exchange sack was a good practical choice. I think my plan of knight c6, king g7, rook h8 was good. The end game, of course, I'm just much better, but I was low on time. I blundered my f-pawn. Kind of messed it up. I, I couldn't figure out the, the way to consolidate everything. But hey, we're still doing good. Haven't lost a game yet. GMs and IMs everywhere. Mostly GMs in this tournament. I've played three of them already. Or four? Four GMs out of five games. No losses. Through two wins, three draws. Feeling good. Another game starting soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.